Okay, so this should be the intellect ball that I ordered from AliExpress. So, let's open it up. Yeah, when you hear that sound in the package, you know it's going to be an intellect ball. Yeah, this packaging is quite tough to get into. So as you can see, this one is boxed. This is the first box one um, that I've received. I think this is the longest uh, opening of a package there's ever been on one of my videos, so I'll probably um, edit some of this out. I'll speed some of it up or whatever. So it says, set out now. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Superpower, magical intellect ball, control balance, improve intellect, learn to build up patience, explore for final victory. Modern and elegant in fashion. Uh, use Illuminate, open the package, turn the intellect ball, make the little ball stay at the beginning, go and pass the barriers and arrive the ending according to the orientation along with their, with their row head orderly. There is a victorious flag flutter <laughs> to you. Now when it says use Illuminate, I think it's talking about this which I'll talk about um, in a minute. Uh, promote self-discipline, improve the understanding of space. Secrets of passing barriers. I'm not going to read everything out. But, um, yeah, don't worry, it'll pay if you spend a lot of time studying, studying secrets of passing barriers before setting out. Sharpening your axe will not delay your job of cutting wood. So you've got a secret one there. Calmness is essential for winning the game, which is true, really. If you try and do it quickly, you're more likely to lose the ball. Secret 2. Uh, game rules. That's interesting, actually. It's got the English spelling of colours instead of the American spelling. Okay, so I'll open that up in a second, but yeah, um, this is like a stand for it. Um, these lights light up, so they light up the ball. Um, music comes out of the speaker as well. Yeah, when I bought this on AliExpress, on the, the title of the page it said, it said something like, um, musical illuminating stand, and then it said uh, intellect ball, maze ball, something like that. And in the pictures it, sh it showed both of these things so obviously when I paid for it I thought it was for the intellect ball and the stand but it turns out it was for just the stand so ended up buying um, the ball off him I, he had two different ones and I said which which of those intellect balls will actually fit the stand and it said this one so um kind of feel like I've been gypped a bit you know like misled into spending more money but whatever it was still all in all it was still really cheap um, so, let's open up this box.
But yeah, I mean, when, when you're selling when you're selling a stand, you shouldn't also have in the title intellect ball and a picture of an intellect ball as well, because it's going to make people think that they'll be getting both both of these things rather than just one. So you've got some instructions there. <clears throat> Hmm. That looks weird. Kind of reminds me a bit of that board game called Mouse Trap. Okay. So this is probably the biggest intellect ball that I've gotten yet. more stuff to slice through so I'll show you how the size of it compares to uh, the biggest one that I had before getting this one if you know what I mean so at first glance they look like they are the same size but then when you turn them this way you can see that this one is bigger Give you a closer look. So let's see how far I can get. Where's the start point? Um, well, it looks like you've got three start points there. One, two, and three. Um, see if there's any, any start points on this side. No. Okay. God, just getting it into the right start point is kind of difficult. See how far I can get. Yeah, th this one seems to be uh, of a much better quality than the other intellect balls that I've got. Thought I was going to lose it then. Where's the ball? There is. Uh, okay. okay uh, I'm just going to leave it there because I've already been doing this for quite a long time and it's probably going to be pretty boring for you guys um, so yeah so the stand it's got this uh, it's got like this uh, a connection there so when you put the ball into it it will press down this top part like it's like a, a metal thing like two pieces of metal so it press down the top piece of metal and it will make contact with the bottom so it lights up and there's music so Let's put some batteries inside it.
I wasn't expecting her to actually be singing um, with the music. I thought it was just going to be like an electronic song, do you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, something that sounds similar to an LCD game rather than like a, a proper sounding song. Um, I don't know, is that, um, is that a song that's actually been in the charts or something? I don't know. It does, does sound like an actual proper commercial song, that so. It's a bad one, but in my opinion, anyway. But yeah, it's kind of kind of cool that you know uh, you get music um, from the stand and um, different coloured lights and stuff when you put this ball into it. You can see the light there changing colours. Yeah, I wish someone would make that song go away. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait until it's night time, so it's dark, and then I'll try it again and we can see how it looks in the dark. Okay, so it's night time now, so I'm going to turn out the light. That's better.